group webinar. Uh, let's go over to here, back to, all right, you're gonna notice right here in the apps, <coughs> we have now added uh, webinars and webinars are here in uh, sandbox mode now and we're starting with um, automated webinars. And so you'll be able to see uh, all of your webinars are here. Any webinar that you've been invited to be a host. So if another user of the system is using um, is using uh, Groove webinars and they've invited you to be a host, you'll find it here. It's kind of like a shared folder in, in a Google Doc. In uh, in something like GoToWebinar, you don't have that ability. They don't show you shared webinars. So what you have to do is you have to Skype the person or text them or say, "Hey, dude, can you get me the?" you know, a link to log in to go to webinar. And they have to say, hold on, let me log in and get you your presenter link. Now you'll always be able to get your own presenter links. So um, these surveys are surveys that will happen inside the webinar. It's not group survey. The same thing, these are polls that'll happen inside the webinar. This is where you'll find your analytics and this is where you'll find your settings and you can do things like canned responses and things like that. Uh, walking through um, setting up a, a webinar, you could create a new webinar uh, or click edit. And this is, looks just like the regular interface. So we're gonna be starting with automated. Once this is complete, we're gonna then do um, live, then stream, and then conference. Uh, this will be like Zoom, this will be like StreamYard, this will be like GoToWebinar. Um, and then you just walk all the way, uh, go all the way through, save and next, uh, each step, unroute these buttons right here, they have to come here, right? The exit and save to stay up here, but the, the save and next goes right here in the wizard. <coughs> oh, oh, and by the way, all of this UI, is right now um, what I would call, uh, you know, a 0 0.5. It's all structural, and then our UI guys are going to come in and uh, clean this up just a little bit. But basically, you're going to set up your uh, all of your your uh, your stuff here. This is where you're going to uh, uh, put up, you know, put in your uh, your video player, whether it allow, you allow them to go full screen. You go to the next step, save and next. This is where you choose your video. Uh, or add a new video for your automated webinar, or you can just choose from your own video library here. And then once you're done with that, uh, we're automatically gonna pull in the duration for you, uh, right on Roop, um, uh, so they don't have to put the duration in here. But if you upload your own video, you can, you'll have to say uh, how it is on Roop. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get rid of this here, and we're just gonna allow them to put the input hours, minutes, seconds. So that's, uh, that I know is gonna be coming. But again, we're in sandbox mode uh, right now here, so let me just uh, move on. Hold on just a minute. While you're opening that, I'll let everyone know what sandbox mode is. Okay. Sandbox mode is, is basically a testing environment that lets you go in and play with the software on the app. Some things like external webinar links uh, will be disabled. You won't be able to actually start a webinar, but you'll be able to go in and see it, play with it, set up a webinar. It's it's basically a testing environment that allows you to see what it's going to look like before it's ready to go live. Yeah, we're letting you, uh, you're, we're letting you see what we see. We have access to this normally, so we're letting you uh, get to see it now. And you actually see the work that's happening and you're seeing all the, uh, all the updates. <coughs> all right, select the video. Let's do this one. Oh, maybe I need to uh, just put a, just put anything in here. All right, so I think I, I didn't put in uh, a timestamp there before. So uh, presenters here, you can add a new presenter, uh, right? I would uh, put, you know, uh, the person that's gonna be presenting, Mike Filsame, is he a moderator or presenter or host? We put a little bit of the bio, upload their image and you click add and then you can, uh, that person will be here, and then you can just keep adding presenters and presenters and presenters. Um, so let me hit save and next, see if it's gonna allow me to move on, okay. So now you're at schedule, and this is where you schedule all your settings. I'm not gonna demo all of this stuff, guys. It's in sandbox mode now. You can actually go and see this. You can't uh, build a webinar that can go live, but you can actually build a webinar. Um, and so this is all the schedule settings. If you're familiar with ever webinar, this is the, the very, very same thing. All of this stuff here, this UI stuff is gonna be, is gonna be cleaned up over uh, the coming week, but this is where you would set that up. Let me see if it allows me to uh, continue without adding any, any of that stuff. This is all of the stuff that, that handles the simulation. What do you want it to look like when it goes live, et cetera. 
um, notifications, post webinars, replay, etc. So this is uh, Groove Webinars. This is um, uh, Unroop uh, told me today uh, uh, that uh, that we believe that you're going to be able to be using Groove Webinars uh, by July 1st. Now I believe uh, I'd rather tell you the same thing with Groove Mail, July 15th. I'm very, very comfortable telling you that you'll be able to start running your automated webinars uh, on <clears throat> on uh, July 15th. We're 95% there with all the code. Then, so we got about 5% left to go. Then we've gonna we're gonna do a UI pass, and then the next thing that we're gonna do. And the beautiful thing is that it's currently being worked on right now with um, with Groove Pages. So let me see if I can find um, something here from uh, David. One second. In fact, I have it in uh, in my sheets here. Let me see. It might, it might even be in my presentation. Show templates. There we go. All right. So we have dozens of webinar templates that you're going to be able to choose from. Uh, when this comes out, we're going to show you how you actually connect this because they're going to be Groove Page webinar templates that you will connect your webinar in Groove Webinar. You will say, okay, this webinar uh, is connected to this webinar funnel. So if you remember back in when we were showing you the screenshots, right? Right here. We were saying that you can go in and you can manage uh, uh, funnels and webinars. You would click on webinar funnels and the same thing would happen. You would see all of your different webinars that you have. And then you would link any one of these webinars to your, uh, your group webinar over here. So that way they know which set of pages. So this right here is one, This is what I was uh, what I was saying, was that um, we are creating uh, templates uh, for an entire webinar funnel where something like GoToWebinar doesn't give you templates, something like Webinar Jam only gives you a registration template. We are giving you a themed, colored uh, template that goes all the way through for every one of your pages. Uh, the webinar broadcast room that. Uh, uh, get rid of that. That's that's not being designed by our designers. That's going to be handled by Groove Webinars. So this is your webinar registration page. Uh, this funnel would get an upsell page. This is a replay page, an order form page, a webinar confirmation after they they register. <coughs> um, and let's just open this one see what what it is. So this is your webinar registration page. Um, you'll be able to. Uh, this is going to open up in Groove Pages. So it's not going to be a template like in Webinar Jam where it's abstract. You'll actually be able to take this template and modify it any way you want and all of these buttons will automatically link to the registration modal. Um, this right here will be the upsell page. So this particular came, uh, page comes with an upsell. You don't have to use it. You'll tell the software that um, you don't want to send somebody to an upsell after they register for your webinar. Uh, and then they'll just go straight to a confirmation page saying, great, you're registered. But many people, many of my friends, what they do is they get you to register for a webinar, and then they up, they give you an upsell before the webinar. And they say, hey, you know, uh, buy this, this special discount. And I have a lot of my friends that, uh, that spend money on Facebook advertising, and they, they break even just on the upsell, and all their profits, uh, you know, come uh, in the webinar. Next, uh, again, here, a, a webinar replay page looks like this. So this is a replay uh, of everything. Uh, when, you, when you're done with your webinar, you just paste the video that we give you here. And all of this is automatically going to be, it's automatically going to pull the replay video in for you. Uh, so this page is just going to be instantly ready because it's connected to your webinar. When you're ready on your webinar, like sometimes we're doing a webinar, we say, okay, there's only 500 uh, units that are going to be available. Go buy right now. You'll have a page that looks like this. This is the order page. This is where you can put your, your checkout widget, and people can come. Or you could use any one of the regular pages in, in Groove. Uh, this is the webinar confirmation. This is what they'll get um, after they register. But we're also putting in some dynamic things that are going to tell them this is the date, this is the room for the room, and all those different types of things. So, so uh, And here's another version of a webinar confirmation. This is more like it right here. Uh, reserve your spot. All this information is going to be dynamic. They'll get their link and they can uh, add it to their calendar. It's all going to be built in. So you'll be able to choose from, um, at first, eight to ten templates, and then you know we hope to have dozens and dozens of templates for you. So um, let me go back to the, the uh, keynote here. <coughs> um, all right. So 
when we are in group webinars and we look right here, we see, okay, those are all of our presenter links. I clicked on links. So this is how you're going to be able to get your links for your replay, your presenters, and invite people and embed uh, the box on your website, all those different types of things there. But let's just click that edit button. I think this is the one that I just created. Well, let's, uh, let me just let this uh, load. I'm just going to hit my back button here. This is what I wanted you to see here. This uh, is the automated webinar, as we said, is going to be going live uh, next month. Um, and there, that will be group webinars, and you can start using it for your automated webinar. The live webinar component will start right after that. That means we've built basically the shell, and we have all of the streaming technology already done from another project that we're working on in parallel. So I believe, um, I believe that you'll probably be able to be using, it'll probably take us two months to get the live webinars done, so you'll be uh, having Groove webinars automated uh, in July. In September, you'll have the live. Uh, you'll probably have Groove Stream will probably come because that's very easy. That's going to probably come with this. That will probably both come in September, or if not, this is October. And then the conference software will probably come in November. All right, and that's, so that's how we're knocking these out. It'll take us about a month to six weeks uh, to, to do each edition because the framework is all is already there. And that's your update on Groove webinars. We'll, we'll definitely keep you updated on, on, on that. But now, again, it's in sandbox mode. Donna, you spoke about what sandbox mode was while I was having a little issue? Uh, I did. We talked about sandbox mode. Okay, great. 